So I have another book review for you guys this week, and it's on The Gathering by Kelly Armstrong. Now, I realize that basically all the books that I've been reviewing so far have been by Kelly Armstrong. It's just I really like her books, so I've been reading them a lot lately, but I promise I'm going to be taking a break from her books soon. I just placed an order from chapters for a whole bunch of new books that aren't Kelly Armstrong, so I will be having some reviews that aren't from her. So The Gathering is the first book in the Darkness Rising series. Um, it's actually, it, this series is linked to the Darkest Power series, which I read before and I had a review on. You can just look for that on my blog at urbanfantasyrealm.com. Yeah, it's so, like I said, it's the, it's like the sister series to the Darkest Powers. And in that series, there was the summoning, the reckoning, and the awakening. On this one, there there's going to be three, but there's only two that have been released right now, which is this one, The Gathering, and then there's also The Calling, which I have, which I'm going to be reading, which I'm currently reading right now. So I'm going to be finishing that one soon. Both of these series are for young adults, and it's written in the point of view of her main character, which is exactly how Kelly Armstrong has done most of her characters in the books that I've read so far. Uh, it just seems to be Kelly Armstrong's style is to write her main her stories in her main character's point of view. So to sum up the plot, it's basically is about um, her main character, Maya Delini, and she's 16 years old and um, she lives in a really small town. Like everyone in town knows each other. Like you can't go around doing something without somebody finding out. And it, the, the town is located in Vancouver Island. There is also a research facility in, in Maya's town. And Maya has this theory that the town was basically built around this research lab in order to hide it. And no one really knows what they're researching. So it's still, it's very mysterious to everyone. Also a year ago, Maya lost her best friend, Serena in a lake she drowned and they find, Maya finds it really strange that Serena died considering that she was on the swim team. So when a reporter starts sh showing up and coming around asking everyone a bunch of questions about Serena's death and about the research lab, a lot of strange things start happening. So Maya decides to take into her own hands and she starts doing a little bit of investigation herself. And Maya is trying to figure out what's really going on around town. So Maya is an adopted child. She lives with her foster parents. And she's very good with animals. Like whenever she takes care of animals, they seem to heal a lot faster than they would with anybody else. And she starts noticing that she, her senses are heightened. Like she starts noticing that her sense of smell and her hearing is a lot better than everyone else around her. Maya also has a tattoo, which is um, a, like a paw print on, on her, and she wants to um, go and get it tattooed because it's fading. There is also Maya's friend Daniel, and he was Serena's boyfriend, and both him and Maya feel equally guilty for the death of Serena because they feel like they weren't able to save her. So da Daniel is very protective of Maya because he is, he acts kind of like an older brother because he doesn't ever want anything to happen to her and he's always trying to protect her from everything in the world. And I think it's because of what happened to Serena so he's always looking out for Maya. And then there is uh, Raf. I hope I'm saying that right now, I'm not for sure. Um, Raph or Rafe, I don't know which one, but I say Raph. So Raph is the new kid in town and he moved to their town with his older sister Annie. Now Maya doesn't know Raph very well, all she really knows about him is that he seems to flirt with all the girls in the school and that he acts like this really tough bad boy. But she soon learns that Raph is not what he seems to be. This is one of those books that is really engaging and you just can't put it down. 
I would definitely recommend this book to anyone who enjoys mystery, action, paranormal, romance. It's got everything in this book. It has a lot of action in it. I would definitely suggest that you read the other series, the Darkest Power series, the Reckoning, the Calling, uh, the Reckoning, the Awakening, and the Summoning, because these two books are tied together. So you don't have to read that one before you read this one, but I would definitely suggest that you do read them because there's a lot of similar things in the books and they tie together to each other. So that's everything for this review. Um, thank you guys for watching and um, I always love to hear what you guys thought of the book as well. So please let me know what you guys thought and leave me some comments and thanks for watching. Bye!